Welcome back everyone to Learning Be Teaching. Today we're in Dynamics and we're going to solve problem 12.189, okay? It says, a particle moves along an Archimedean spiral where r is equal to a theta in feet, where theta is given in radians. If theta dot is equal to 4 radians per second, a constant, determine the radial and transverse components of the particle's velocity and acceleration at the instant theta equals to pi half radians. Sketch the curve and show the components on the curve. All right, so over here we have, uh, they're displaying us this curve, this Archimedean curve, and we're giving the, the particle has, uh, they're showing us in here where it has a theta equals to pi hat radians, okay? So what we need to find is find the particle's velocity and acceleration components. So what are these particle velocity and acceleration components? These come from the chapter of 12.8 curvilinear motion. And as we can see, the velocity is, is broken into two terms, the radial and the transverse component. And each one of them, so here we have the velocity in the radial and the transverse, and same goes with our acceleration. So we're going to utilize these equations, but the first thing that we need to know is that we need to find the first and second derivative of our radial, of our r, and also the first and our second derivative of our transverse component, okay? So let's go ahead and start solving the problem. And we're given that our r is equal to a multiplied by theta, right? So if we're going to do the derivative of this r, so r dot is going to be a multiplied by the derivative of our theta, okay? And then if we want the second derivative of our r will be a multiplied by the second derivative of our theta double dot, okay? Of our theta. Now, what is what are these thetas then? Because we need them for our r. Now, in the problem, they're giving us that theta dot is a constant and it's equal to four radians. So let's write that down. We have that theta dot or the first derivative of theta, it's equal to four radians per second, okay? Now, if our number is a constant and if we take a derivative in order to find theta double dot so the second derivative of this theta this will become zero because it's a constant and if we are in the first derivative and we want to go back to the normal we have to do an antiderivative or an integral and if we perform the integral of a constant like four, we will know that this is equal to, going to be equal to four t, okay? Now, do we need this? I don't think we need that. Why don't we need this value of four t? Because they're already giving us what our theta value will be equal to. So our theta value in this case is going to be pi halves. They're not telling us what time it is. They're just telling us that this will be the final value at this time, okay? So now we got our six main components in order to start finding our velocity and acceleration component. So I'm gonna go back to my notes for dynamics and I have them in here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit first on our velocity. So if we want to find the velocity in the radial component, we will have that this is equal to the first derivative of r. And as we can see above us, the first derivative of r, it's equal to a multiplied by the first derivative of theta, which is equal to four. And if we plug this into our calculator, this will give me a total of 32. And since the unit is, in, uh, is for velocity, we're going to have 32 feet per second. Oops, okay feed per second okay and we just found the first component of our velocity our second component of velocity is going to be the transverse component 
and as we can see in our right in here it's going to be the multiplication of r times the first derivative of theta and if we plug that in r is going to be 8 multiplied by theta well theta we know is going to be pi halves and then we have the derivative of the first derivative of theta which is equal to 4 okay so if we plug this into our calculator we will realize that this is equal to 50.3 if we round up feet per second okay and we just found out our second answer for this problem next we're going to do the acceleration component so the acceleration in the radial component we have that is the second derivative of r minus r multiplied by the first derivative of theta squared if we plug in the values we're going to have a multiplied by the first the second derivative of theta i'm talking about this equation in here but we know that the second derivative of theta is equal to zero so we are going to multiply a by zero and all of this will become zero then we will have minus r well r is 8 times theta theta is given pi halves multiply by and then we have the first derivative of theta squared which is 4 and we're going to square okay if we plug this into our calculator all we have to plug in is this so we're going to have 8 multiplied by pi halves multiplied by 4 and we're going to square that 4 and we're going to get a total of 201 feet per second square units of acceleration okay next what we're going to do is do the other component of acceleration which is our acceleration in the transfer component and we have that that is equal to r multiplied by theta double dot plus 2r dot times the theta dot okay so we are going to follow that equation and we're going to have first for our theta we have a theta so we got a multiplied by theta which is pi halves and then we need to multiply this by the second derivative of theta which is zero so here again the same thing happens this all will turn zero because of the multiplication then we will have plus and then we have 2 multiplied by the first derivative of theta, which is a, multiplied by the first derivative of theta, which is 4. And then we also multiply again by the first derivative of theta. Okay, so basically what I'm saying in here, this is equal to r dot, and then this in here is equal to theta dot. Just, now, don't get so confused by so many uh, fours, okay? And then if we plug this into our calculator, let's see what we get. We're going to get 2 times 8 times 4 times 4. This will give me a total of 256 feet per second square. Okay. And this should be the, our answers for our velocity components. So our velocity components are these two. And for our acceleration, we have this two in here okay now the problem is also asking us to sketch the curve and show the components of the curve so we don't need these equations anymore we need to sketch it in order to um, save some time in the video i'm just gonna post the screenshot of the answer and here is the answer where we have our particle in here and in here and we're showing our velocities components in the radial and in the transverse same happens in the air acceleration we're going to have our radial acceleration always trying to go inside the curve okay and then our transfer component in here that is 90 degrees from now and then we have that our theta is in that moment our theta is equal to pi half radians okay so if you guys like the video, please push the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.